That was beautiful. Do you like my lyrics? <laughs> I literally just learned this we're song. Not, like we, we're not ago. supposed to sing the words anywhere because then we get demonetized. And, uh, yeah, copyright. And then the three dollars we would make off of this video over the next twelve years. Mm -hmm. Just go right out the window. Google would get to keep that. That's like a Red Bull. That's gone. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to even think about it. I don't want to think about it either. That's like one of these but at your local beer store. I do believe most yeah. people are good. I do, I do believe that as well. Is that the song we're doing today? It is. Is it Luke Bryan? It is. Are we going to learn how to play it? We are. Awesome. We are going to learn it. This is, uh, this is Luke Bryan. Most people are good. This is, uh, this is a pretty, pretty nice little song. It really t tugs at your heartstrings. It does tug at your heartstrings. It's like I was telling uh, Pees, I was like, it's one of those songs you're driving in the night and you're just like, man, oh, man. life, bro. Just people like are, life. Yeah. <laughs> what really gets me is the uh, moms, the moms in sainthood line. The moms at where? The moms being nominated for sainthood. That line really gets me every time. That does get me every it's time. It's a great line. It is a good one. All right. Enough talk. Let's Enough get talk. into it. So, so this song, mm -hmm. believe it or not, pretty easy. There's only four chords. The hard part is that they switch order. Mm -hmm. They're not the same through the whole song, but we're here to show you that. We're here to help you. We're here to show you how to do that. So, and I think we should probably, with this song, we should probably put the chords up in the... We'll put the chords on the screen. Yeah. We're looking at a piece be, of paper. It'll be right here. It'll be, It'll this, be right here. In this area. Or maybe yeah. this area because it's darker. So, how do you play the intro? <laughs> intro. <laughs> so, one thing before we get into this, one thing I want to uh, mention is that the intro and the outro are exactly the same. And there's one thing that's going to help you throughout this song, and that is that throughout the whole song, it's that same. It has a downward. Yep. It's that same beat throughout. Three, four. It sounds monotonous, but if you're like new to like the whole strumming pattern thing and trying to get a song to sound authentic, you have to do this annoying crap to really get something going. See, and then you build it up. On a G chord. On a G. You're gonna do four beats on that, then you're going into an E minor 7, which looks a little something like that. You keep those two two little fingers down there and you just go from there. On your E minor. To there, to your E minor, and then from there you go to your C at 9. Pretty much like the cool, I love I love the E minor 7, or whatever the hell it's actually called. The, because I, I think it's an E minor 7, but, like, yeah. but either way. So the, it's an E minor, and then throw your ring and pinky on the bottom like you're playing a G. So, Such a good way to learn as a beginner, too, because you don't have to move these two fingers at all. Yeah. These two are doing all the moving, and it's all right in that right in that wheelhouse right there. It's really, really simple. So you got your G, your E minor 7, mm -hmm. and then go to your C at 9. C at 9. So that's your intro. All right. So you're going to want to repeat that twice. Then from there, you jump right into verse number one. Verse number one and verse number two are exactly the same. And the verse goes G, E minor seven, C, add nine, add nine and then D. D mage. D mage. You're gonna repeat that twice and then you're gonna go E minor, D, C. So this is the part that might get a little tricky if you're new because the E minor and the D, you're only on those for two beats. So mm -hmm. should we just jump into the chord or the verse and show them how it's done? Let's do it. This is how it sounds. Ready? We'll put the chords up on the screen. So ready? Yep. One, two, one, two, three, four.
get to that part in just a second. Then you jump into your chorus. So we're gonna jump into the chorus. So again, it's G, E minor seven, C and D, repeat that twice. Then you jump into E minor seven, D, C, mm -hmm. repeat that twice. Mm -hmm. And again, we'll put this all up on the- On the screen there for the screen you. There. On the big now, screen. So here we go. The chorus. The chorus. <laughs> the refrain. <laughs> the refrain. <laughs> the refrain. <laughs> All right, so chorus one. We'll put the chords. Uh oh. Are you going to tune there? I think so. Oh, wow. Too late now. We should want to pause the video right here and fix it. All right. All right, there. We'll, we'll, oh, there's the snark. Is we'll fast forward this part. <laughs> So here we go, the chorus, also known as the refrain. Chorus. How does it go? So, chorus, there's one little tricky part in here in the chorus because there's a part where you go, where you jump between two chords really quickly. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, you're spending four beats on, on a chord. Mm -hmm. So and Once again, we'll put them up on yep. the screen. So, so let's uh, go ahead, let's, let's get into it. Let's All right, ready? Go. One, yep. two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Pretty straightforward, except the, the beginning part. Yep, the chorus, again, you're going four beats on G, so one, two, three, four. E minor seven, one, two, three, four, C. <laughs> okay, and so that's after the first chorus. The first chorus and the second, or excuse me, the third chorus are the same. Now after the second chorus, there's a little instrumental break in there where there's a little tiny solo and a bridge. Mm -hmm. So, if you know the song, it'll help it a lot better. So. Yes, yeah. yes. So after that, you go back to another verse. There's only two verses. After the second verse, you go on to the second chorus. Second chorus, instead of going to the G, E minor seven, C, you just continue on G, E minor seven, C, and then D, mm -hmm. and then you jump into a little bit of a bridge. And that bridge is exactly like the ending to the verses. Does that make sense? Okay, we'll show you. It, yeah. <laughs> It gets it's so confusing. A, it's a little hard to explain, but it's really not that complicated. Yeah, it really isn't. It's just yeah. the same four chords, just in different variations. Exactly. So, right. so where are we starting? So let's do the bridge. So how does the bridge go? Okay, so the bridge is just like the end of the verse, and you start off on your E minor 7, and you go two beats on E minor 7, two beats on D, and four beats on C, C at 9. Oh, right, well, so we said it at the same time. That's cool. <laughs> All right, ready? Here's the bridge. Two, three, four. <laughs> Why did we get so quiet and slow? <laughs> I don't know because I was just feeling we're it, man. It's a sensitive we're song. We're supposed to get ramped up and just belt it out there. That's we're because all, it's a sad song. And we were all like, <sighs> just, I'm just feeling the vibe, bro. <laughs> so is the third chorus any different than the second chorus? Third chorus exactly the same. There, I, no, the the third chorus is just like the first chorus. Perfect. So you jump into the G E minor C. 
part at the end of that. <laughs> I'm so glad we have graphics. We're gonna put these video. up on the screen. I'm so glad. It's not hard. Oh it's god. Not hard. I really did have a hard time even kind of looking at this piece of paper. I kept like wanting to like go to a D when it should have been a C, like because I was used to what because lots of songs are symmetrical. Sm this one isn't. So then you go yeah, yeah. exactly. You want to go to what your muscle memory tells you mm -hmm. to go to, but so so where are we now? We just did So we are are we after the bridge or do we co do chorus three yet? I think we did chorus three. Well, we could do chorus three just for shits. <laughs> I believe most people are good. <laughs> You can do that, that'll make you look cool. Tasty. <laughs> More on that later, I'm a pro. <laughs> so anyways, how does the outro go? <laughs> we just did the outro. Oh, that's right, we did do the so outro. So the outro is exactly the same as the intro, so stop the video, rewind it back to when we did the intro, and just do that at the end. And then come back. <laughs> so ready, so we got G, E minor 7, okay, ready? G, E minor C. I already know that you know there's a seven on the E minor and there's a nine and yes. an add on there. So ready, G minor seven, C. Should we should we should we just start over at S chorus three? No, let's not start over at chorus three. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm Pease. I'm Duck North Guitar. He's Painter. Thanks to everybody that's been watching our videos and giving us a like and a thumbs up. We're almost uh, at two subscriptions. Yeah, we're getting there. We appreciate it. So um, until next time, if you got any requests, put them in the comments. If we like the song, we'll think about it. If we don't like the song, we're not going to play it. We'll never play it. We don't like you. No, I'm kidding. We will eventually. We'll get to it. We just have a lot of requests. So we love you guys. Thank you for making our channel great. Have a good one. Peace. It's out of focus. Hey, Later. All right. <laughs>